Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a demo of SolidSynth, a synthesizer that I built using the Juice framework. However, before I get to the demo, I'd like to give you some quick brief overview of how I made my synthesizer. So here we are in the producer. If you're making a plugin with the Juice framework, you'll probably be starting here. In the producer, you can include any modules that you may need in your audio plugin. For example, I'm using the Maximilian module. It is a sound library publicly available that you can download, and it contains a lot of the bare bones structure of the synthesizer. Furthermore, in the producer, you can also choose what kind of plugin you're trying to make. In my case, I am making a standalone plugin, and it will generate a dot component file, also known as an Apple Audio Unit file, AU for short. You can also specify whether or not you want producer to generate a VST file or a VST3 file once it runs. However, since I am on a Mac, I won't be needing these two. Once you have all your settings put in, you can go ahead and save, and it will redirect you to an IDE. And this is where all the magic happens. Now, Solid Synth is made up of five main components. The master volume control, the envelope control, the filter control, and two different oscillators. And each component in my synthesizer has its own class. A class is denoted by .cpp and .h. They're paired together. And as you can see here, we're in our oscillator class. And you can pick between either a square wave, a saw wave, or a sine wave. Here in the envelope class, you can see different controls for the ADSR. And in the filter, you can also choose between a low pass, a high pass, or a band pass. There's also different classes for the user interface. Here in front GUI.cpp, you declare the different sliders and drop down menus and the color as well. I can get into a lot more detail. However, I only have 10 minutes and I do not want to bore you, so I will transition onto my demo. So here we are in a logic session, already pre-made, and yeah, have a listen. Okay, so as you can see, it's pretty bare bones, and I want to add my synth on top of this. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new track. I'm going to try to find my synth here. It should be under AU Instruments. Tamatorn Tunes. That's the name of my company. Copyright pending. Solid synth. And here we go. Now, this is the UI for my synthesizer. First thing I'm going to do, however, is I'm going to turn the master a little bit down. This, uh, this is pretty important because if you play polyphony with this synth, sometimes it clips quite a bit. So I'm going to give it a nice, healthy, 5 dB cut. Right here. A little bit more. There we go. Perfect. Now I have my MIDI keyboard hooked up to this. So let's see if it works. Perfect. Alright, so let me show you a little bit of the parameters that you can manipulate in my synthesizer. As you can see here, there's an envelope. If I increase this, it tails a little bit more, or if you want the tack to be longer, And you can also choose between different types of filters. For example, uh, what if I want a high pass filter? And this slider here controls the range at which the frequency range that's going to be filtered out. So, um, so now I'm going to try to find a nice sound that will go along with my track here. So I'm going to be messing around a little bit. And you can see here you can also pick between many different wave types. I'm going to go with the saw and a sine wave, add a little bit more decay, and I think a low pass will sound better. Uh, let's see here. Perfect. That, I think that works. Okay. And I'm going to actually a little bit more. 
Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna start recording. Let's see what happens. I think that sounds pretty good. Well, yeah, that is my demo, and I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you'd like to try it out for yourself, I made a package out of my synthesizer that you can download and install into your computer. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.